wouldn't happen to me though. <laughs> Nasty bitch. Mission failed. We'll go next time. My boy look, he look tight as fuck, man. Oh shit. It's your boy Webb. I'm back again with another video. And today, we're just gonna take a look at it again. Like, I don't know what's going on, but we gotta take a look at it. So today, we're gonna have a very special videos that are gonna be coming through. And it's just a reflection on, I'm telling you, it's a reflection on today's society and standards for men and women. Now, obviously, it's always been the same, but traditionally, it's been the same. But with the rise of the Internet and social media, we see that women, because they, we have to admit, women are definitely the fairer sex. They're the more beautiful looking human being than men are. We got to be honest about that. But because of that, they have in this 21st century, they have opportunities to, to make all this money. And that, I'm not concerned about the money. Shit, I wish I was a female so I could make this money. But I ain't concerned about that. I'm concerned about the inflated ego and the disappointment when they reach their later 30s and 40s. They may have all this money, but they're not able to lock down a dude. And I'm generalizing, of course. You know, I'm, I'm generalizing. But the statistics show it. So it is what it is. But, man, getting back to the video. How are you going to let another man feed his shmeat? to another woman in front of you he put his shmeat in her mouth So in both of these situations, man, they, they both wrong for this. Cause if that if that's her dude, if that's her dude and she all twerking on this nigga and shit, like if that's her dude, that you look bad as a female as in regards to the relationship. You look that's your fault. Like you you look like a little hoe thinking you cute and I'm telling you y'all y'all be thinking you could do what get away with whatever you want just because your looks that ain't the truth no real niggas gonna put up with that shit man you can settle for the for the weak dude for the simp dude that they'll take you out on skydiving the first day that you meet check my tinder videos down below let me let me know are we gonna do a part two to that let's see how many dates we can go on we go we see if we get a date go see salt bay let me know if you guys want to see a part two to that tinder video that i did earlier this week let me know what you let me know because we'll do it but anyway in this situation they're both wrong first of all if i was a dude i would just be looking through the window all sad and shit hand on the window and just be like damn she belong to the streets now and just get my ass up out of there because there ain't no way i mean just think about it even if it was your sister if it was your cousin girlfriend your wife you, you like there's a point in time where you come to a realization like you can't save her ain't no point of this am i trying to save her anymore at this point she belonged to the streets she belongs to the street she be, she belonged to somebody else and not me anymore because at the end of the day is she gonna be she had no respect for me be doing some wild shit like this for the for the, for the i don't even know if you can see it for clout because she just want to act up that's all it is it is what it is shit you ain't belong to me no more though <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is, man. I, I don't. 
understand it but i mean as a, and from the dude's perspective hey i'm out of this situation peace my ass be disappeared i ain't even trying to deal with all that i'd be out of that situation and this next clip so we already established the fact that a lot of these you know it's funny too because these days if you go into a, a medium range to an upper echelon restaurant and shit you'll see a lot of these you know females be having a little girls night out and i don't hate it i like to see what i like to see and shit if we talk and communicate hey who knows you know so i don't hate it don't stop what you keep doing what you're doing but i'm gonna just let you know from the outside people looking in who are not trying to talk to you or anything this is how you look so in this video we're about to check out this is a video where this is the owner of the restaurant and he got all these girls in here going crazy like that like you just seen the little salt bay i don't i forgot what restaurant he was cooking at or whatever charging thousand dollars for steak i forgot what restaurant that was at but you see you know ladies want to act up and all this other shit check out this video because this is the exact opposite of that video I invested a lot of money into buying this building into developing this concept so black people can have somewhere nice to go to, okay? Somewhere where we can feel good about ourselves as a come on, stop the music, please. Somewhere where our people can feel good about ourselves as a culture, okay? Yeah. No, no, real talk. And so all this twerking and shit, take it to prime, take it to pink, don't bring it here because we're a restaurant. And so beyond that, 75% of my customers are ladies. And I want men to show respect for themselves for how they carry themselves here. So how can I tell the men to respect themselves and you guys are twerking on glass here? If you want to do it, get the fuck out of my restaurant. Hey, that's some real fucking shit though. You can't even fault him for saying some shit like that. Because I'm probably going to be a restaurant owner someday. I'm probably going to be a nightclub owner and a restaurant owner. I'm, a, I'm a, on some real shit though. Like, we understand from the point of view, you want to act up, do what you want to do. I understand that. And it, the reality is, and, and that's the thing. You don't see men doing this shit. So what is it? It's okay. It's females. Okay. So be it. What it is, is the social media from other, you know, women who have more money, more social status, your Kylie's, your Kendall's, your Kim's be doing shit like this. If not now, back in the day, or your, you know, black chinas and your megan the stallions and, and sweeties all them be doing that shit so it just thinks you know it rounds down to the lowest common denominator just any old girl thinking she could turn up in a restaurant and on some real shit at the end of the day we're in a restaurant we ain't in a fucking club hey you could do that shit all day in the fucking club be grinding on me and shit all day in the fucking club but we ain't in the club we're in a restaurant just people trying to eat and shit and trying to turn up and get loud i never understood that like i don't i don't fault it like i, I don't get I, I i feel indifferent to the situation when i'm in public and i see that shit, i'm the first thing that comes to my mind is just like damn these girls are really trying to fucking act like they all that like on some real shit. because how are we gonna be at a restaurant or on the street or outside the club or, or outside the club is okay but how are we gonna be in a restaurant and you acting wild like that and it's funny because what they'll do is they'll record it Black, bright ass flashlights on and everything they'll record it you know everybody's going all wild and then as soon as the video cuts off everybody's all quiet and back to normal that's the funniest shit i've ever seen i've seen that so many times going crazy hey, hey. all in the fucking all in the restaurant and then when the cameras cut quiet dude come through trying to get their number now they, they reject them i always thought that was funny because it's just like fake like you don't live baby girl it's okay you don't live that type of lifestyle it's all right and even if you do it's okay you can go to the club and do that shit you don't gotta do it in the restaurant i'm trying to eat my dinner i just i just paid a thousand dollars for this fucking steak i ain't trying to hear your ass in my damn ear because i did it for our people and i did it for our culture so don't do it now don't do it again i don't want to hear it if you don't like it get out because i don't need your money i need to pr provide something for my people and don't do it again thank you you can't even fault him in these type of situations there's no fault to there's no shame to his game that's 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 respectful right there that's that's you know you want a respectful institution and you want people just to come through he said he built it for you know first people black people go have a have a nice respectable dinner and, and and the classiness see i think that's that's what's going out the window these days the classiness there is no classy no more it's all about it's i mean i can't i don't know if trashy is the right word but it's definitely not classy anymore you don't got that suave man and female who respect themselves and yeah turn up here and there have a good time but they're they're more 
stoic and and really think about the actions that they do in front of an audience i'm not saying that you have to fucking put on a show in front of people or act somebody you're not just understand that who you are back then anyway who you are as a person and what you promote yourself to be and that way you express yourself out in public it meant something today not so much the globalization of the world due to social media and the internet nobody really gives a fuck everybody's on the same page because of social media so everybody somebody be twerking out here in la and twerking out there in the uk and nobody really give a f in the streets for no good reason other than a tiktok and no and everybody would understand these days so i mean it is what it is i don't hate it i do i just trust me when i see that shit in the club or at a restaurant when i see that shit in a restaurant it's just funny to me because i'm just like bitch you ain't in that even you ain't in your lifestyle stop trying to act like you're trying to turn up and shit another thing i think is funny too as a girl be twerking and then other girls start slapping her butt i don't know why i find that funny because it, it's it's weird like it, it's it, it's just something else man that's like if a dude was flexing and then another dude just came up and started grabbing his muscle that's just weird like i mean shit you keep on doing it i'll keep on watching but this shit weird you're weird. you weird, buddy. You're weird. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, man. I think that it's important for us to understand as people that, you know, this just, 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 just be a more classy. Like, there's a, there's a time and place for everything that you do. I ain't trying to shame nobody. I mean, shit. It is what it is. Y'all gonna get shamed anyway. Survival of the fittest at the end of the day. Um, But if me and my girl, shame. <sighs> She know better than that. She ain't acting all like this out there. Like, it, it's just funny. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. We're on our road to a thousand subscribers. Let me know if there's a video you want me to react to, subscribe to. You need advice on relationships, finances, anything of that sort. Hit me up at the Donald Speaks at gmail.com. I'll try to get back to you depending on the subject matter. Shit, man. I'm trying to go see some girls twerking the club and get some salt bait, $1,000 steak, man. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. <laughs>